Now, one of the games that Team Singapore will be competing in is sailing. This year, we'll see the return of a former national sailor. Stanley Chan last represented Singapore in the OK Dinghy category at the 2002 Asian Games in South Korea. After that, he decided to focus on his career as a pilot. But after a decade of flying, Stanley decided to swap his wings for sails. He will partner Anthony Kyong to race in the half-rater category in Myanmar. And he hopes to be an inspiration to his children. Because I have two, two young kids, the formative years now. So in a way, yeah, by doing this, I hope maybe I can inspire them as well. Maybe they take some interest in sailing. And we have Team Singapore's Chef de Mission, Annabelle Pennefeather, in studio with us today. So, uh, well, just a week to go, how, what's the mood of the athletes like? Well, we had a workshop for them last weekend, and they all seem to be in a very positive frame of mind and actually eager for the games to start. So, uh, I'm sure they're all ready to go and, you know, with their bags packed. <laughs> well, speaking of their bags packed, I understand they're leaving in batches. Um, who, who's going to be leaving first? Well, we have a few events that will be starting before the opening ceremony on the 11th. So we have the water polo team going first, followed by Wushu. Uh, these will be starting on the 6th and 7th of December. And we know the uh, record that water polo has. I mean, they've won the gold medal uh, in countless games. So we hope that they will provide a winning start for Singapore and to inspire all the rest of our athletes to follow suit. Right. I mean, it, it certainly looks good for water polo based on their history. But do you, do you foresee any challenges for Team Singapore? Yeah, I mean, every game has its unique challenges. The fact that this game's uh, the venues are spread out between Napito, Yangon and uh, Patien where the sailing is. It's obviously a challenge because we have to provide support teams at these various locations to make sure that they get adequate sports science, uh, you know, coverage, medical, uh, you know, coverage as well. So, so that's one of the challenges. Um, aside from that, of course, uh, in a developing place such as Myanmar, we have to manage the communications and the transportation issues, but I think we've more or less uh, studied those and, and have plans to try and uh, deal with them as and when they arise. Right. So, uh, and of course, I think our athletes have to be able to compete uh, on, uh, you know, in, in Myanmar territory where it's not home ground, but they have to adjust themselves and acclimatize as quickly as possible. Yes, it's, it sounds like a, it's not easy doing it when it's not on home ground. So uh, what yeah. are the medal, are there any hopes for a medal tally? I mean, what, what, yeah. are, what kind of results are we looking at? Well, we didn't, for? or I didn't <laughs> think, and, and I think some of my colleagues share that view that, uh, you know, comparing the medal count with what happened at the last games would really not be meaningful because there were more events in uh, Jakarta uh, in Indonesia there were 42 events as compared to 33 this time around and we are only taking part in 25 of those 33 events as compared to 33 in the last games so clearly you have fewer athletes and fewer events so uh, a comparison of medals would, would really not be productive so we'd rather look at things such as best performances all the athletes know that we expect them to give their 100% and more in competition. We are looking at best performances, uh, you know, records, and, and we know that there are athletes who are capable of winning medals. And we believe that if we get all the processes right, if the athletes do as well, then we'll see medals. And, and if we can maintain the placings that we've had uh, over the last uh, few games at our best in Singapore in 93, we were in fourth placing. And in subsequent years, we've been fifth or sixth. So I think if we can keep those placings, we would have done, you know, we should be satisfied with the outcome. Right. Um, well, in recently in the news, there's been talk about more focus on uh, local athletes, um, you know, like local born athletes leading the table tennis and all that. How, how, how are uh, plans for that progressing so far? Well, you know, those preparations are left to the respective NSAs and they have uh, recommended the athletes who have been selected. They seem pretty confident that our local born athletes will uh, acquit themselves well and I certainly hope they will because it will be a good signal, I think, 
to other local athletes who want to pursue that sport. So we'll certainly be watching and cheering them on with a lot of enthusiasm. Right, okay, thank you very yeah. much for your input, Ms. Thank Pennyfeather. You. Thank you, yeah. that was Ms. Pennyfeather, Annabelle Pennyfeather, Chef de Mission for Team Singapore.